latitude and longitude example one. Now in this example it's more of kind of an, an exploration of the world map and, and how the latitude and longitude uh, lines work. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this following link and we're going to then answer these three questions. Now I've already brought uh, the link up, here it is here, and it brings you a Google Earth map that you can see there. Now the problem is when you first go in you can't see the grid lines and to fix that you've got this thing with three lines, you click on that and then you click on map style. Scrolling down to the bottom, we can enable grid lines. And there we go, we've got our uh, latitude and longitude lines available to look at. All right, now, okay, going back to our question here. Uh, question A says, name three countries that lie within the tropics. So if we zoom in and, um, actually I'll just zoom out first. With, with our Earth, you've got the equator, which in a way kind of cuts the Earth in half. And the tropics lie close to the equator. And to be more specific, um, where's the, there we go. You'll see you've got your Tropic of Cancer at, above it. And I think it's 23 and a half degrees above it, if I remember correctly. And then you've got the Tropic of Cap. Capricorn. So countries that lie with that lie in the tropics lie within the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. And these countries are the warmer, hotter climates where you don't really get your four seasons. Alright, so four countries that lie within here. Really you can answer whatever you like. So if we zoom in, anything close to the equator. For some reason, if you zoom in too close, it goes black. So you can see lots of countries here. There's no really wrong or right answer here. There's so many to choose from. Okay, so that's question A. I'm not going to write any down. That's up to you. Question B says, if your latitude and longitude coordinates are both zero degrees, where would you be situated? So let's um, bring this up, zoom out. Zero degrees. So zero degrees means it lies on the equator because the equator is zero degrees, um, that's your latitude coordinate, but we need to find a longitude of zero degrees, and here we go, and that's this other yellow line, so the you've got your prime meridian, which is a longitude of zero degrees, and the equator, which is a latitude of zero degrees, and they both cross at the ocean, so all you really need to do is just write ocean here, let's, um, let's write ocean, okay, now question C says only one of the poles are locate, located on land. Which one is it, north or south? So let's zoom out again and if we look at the north pole, you can see that the north pole is actually ocean, which means that the south pole must be land. Let's go down, there we go. There's our south pole and that actually lies on land. Um, so only one of the poles are located on land. And which one is it? It was the south and that's the end of our example one.